Hi, my name is Lydia. I'm a Team Center Applications Engineer, and I'm going to go over a quick tutorial on how to generate reports in Team Center. Now to start off, I am already logged in to the Team Center Rich Client. I am running what is currently the newest version of Team Center 14.2. So to start, we'll go over and click on Tools. And then down here, we'll click on Reports, and then we'll click on Report Builder Reports. This is going to bring up the report generation wizard, which lists all of the different reports that are included with Team Center. You scroll down, you'll see that there are several different kinds of workflows that will give you different kinds of information. Some of these have to do with giving you information to do with projects. Some of them will give you all of the items that are currently in a workflow like down here uh, for this demonstration i'm going to go ahead and click on the admin group and role membership report this report is going to give us a list of all of the different users in a particular group and role so here you can select what specific group and role you would like to um, get a list of users from. So for this demonstration, I am just going to type in an asterisk for the role. So this way I'm going to get all of the different users and all of the different groups and roles. However, you could go ahead and select a particular specific group and a specific role, or you could pick a specific group and then you would get all the different roles if you keep this asterisk here. But for this, for the demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and, and just get a list of everything. So I'll go ahead and click Finish. So now in the web browser, we have this HTML file with all these different columns. We have user ID, username, group name and role name. Um, if you notice that there are a couple of the users here that are listed more than once, that is because this user is in different roles. This user is in both the designer role of the engineering group as well as the analyst role. And that is why some are listed more than once. Now if we click out of this, we can go ahead and try generating a different kind of report. So to go back, we can either click home, we can click back, and we'll be back to that list of all of the different reports here. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and let's try running the license usage report. This report is going to give us all the information on users using the Team Center license. I'm going to go ahead again and just type in an asterisk so we just get all of the information here. Um, I believe user ID is the only required bit of criteria for this report. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. Now this time, instead of an HTML file, it is going to generate a .text file that is going to look like a CSV file, which we can then just change the extension on so that we can open it in Excel. So right now, as you can see, it looks just like a CSV file. We'll go ahead and go File, Save As, and I'll go ahead and just save it into this temp directory. So I'll go ahead and change this to .csv. Go ahead and click Save. So now if I go here, go to my temp folder, you see the CSV file, I go ahead and double click. That will open Excel for me. And here we have all of the information there. 
So since this is my test environment, I have only been logged in as info DBA. If you have multiple users logging in, you'll probably have a lot more information to look at here. But yeah, this is everything you can see with that particular report. Go ahead and click out of here. Don't need to save. And then in order to leave, you can just hit close. And that is my quick tutorial on generating reports in Team Center. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.